I actually have recently cut up a tree in our backyard and I'm actually gonna be using some of this wood for these beer tap handles. I think it's gonna look really cool with the type of wood I'm using. Um, and it's, it's wood I have laying around anyway, so why not? So, so this is a tree trunk. I just gotta finish cutting up. This is about two inches width uh, on this edge here and it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be the perfect size. I'm just gonna have to flatten it after and make sure I don't have too much of these uh, <laughs> issues on it. But let's go ahead and finish cutting it up here. Let's check that out, nice. Now that we have the thickness down to size, I'm gonna cut each beer handle to roughly 11 and a half inches, which is right in the middle of average heights for these type of handles. And I noticed this cool grain pattern going right through the middle of my stock here, which you're gonna see a lot later how this adds character to the handles. Since we are working with really rough lumber here, I'm gonna have to do a lot of work to get it straight and cleaned up so that we can shape it into the handles. And it would help if I didn't have to have all my tools on the same outlet because it keeps tripping my fuse. All right, let's get back to cutting. I decided that one inch thick is gonna be more than enough for having a comfortable handle. And this will leave the width of each one about three inches. And you can see that I'm taking this really slow because there could be some imperfections inside the wood that can cause some really scary kickback. And now for the reveal. Look how sweet this grain pattern came out. All right, now let's finish squaring off the side edges and we're just gonna sneak up on the small gap until it's completely flat. And I'm gonna make sure I'm switching the direction of this wood as I run it through the joiner. That way I make sure I'm not causing a slight angle when I'm up against the fence. And now that we have one square edge, I can use a table saw to trim down the other side so that it's square as well. Okay, now we've got two equally sized rectangles out of this wood. The last thing we need to make square are the top and bottom edges of the wood.
And now we can start making the tap handle shape. I'm going to be using a crosscut sled here, which will let me set the wood at an angle and actually I'm going to be running it vertically through. In just a moment, I'll walk you through exactly how this sled works. So I just want to say that the cutoffs from these beer tap handles, um, they'd make probably like the perfect door stops. So for anybody who works in a school and also needs their own beer taps, this works out well for holding up your doors. I thought that was pretty, pretty nifty. You got a whole bunch of them out of that. So for those of you who have never used um, a sled before, I just wanna explain what's going on here. So um, there's different components to this. You could use a crosscut sled just to keep your fingers away from the blade when cutting pieces horizontally. Um, that works well because you can't really balance that against the fence. But uh, the way we used it, obviously it was vertically, but let us get this sweet beer tap angle going. And you can see it worked out really well. I might cut off the bottom to make it a little bit thicker for the screw, but we'll get to that in a sec. So what I did here was I kept playing with the angle um, and because I didn't really want to do math or anything, I just kept playing with it until I found something comfortable that I liked. Uh, and it looks like it was about three degrees. So three degrees was the angle these were cut at. And then after I set this angle, which changes, which changes the slope of the sides here. I then came over here, and this is where I had put, I took the edge that I wanted to stay the full width, I put it up against this stop here. I used the stop so that I can get the same sides on each side and the same measure for the second. And this just holds down the piece of wood. So I set it so that the edge of the sled would come right at the same edge of the top of the handle again. And I actually let it, you could see about an inch and a half. Um, I wanted the same size for about the top, so I'm gonna cut a circle, you'll see. Or I might actually leave it like this, it looks pretty good so far. Um, and then that's where I lined up the edge, put the stop, and that let me get the same measurement both sides while getting the same slope from both directions. That's how it worked. Works pretty, works pretty well. I just need a extension on the left of my uh, table saw so this sled stops falling, but that's all right. All right, let's get moving here. Okay, so we're really figuring this out a lot as we're going here. Um, so I have these universal beer tap connectors um, and it's pretty cool. They actually come with the screw that you screw into the base of the tap. Uh, and then this part screws on and that'll sit up against the bottom of the wood and this will attach to any beer tap out there. Uh, I'll link these below. They're really handy and cheap and work out really well. Um, so I'm figuring out a lot as I go here. And uh, when I cut them, I definitely cut it too short. So um, you can see here that this is just a little bit too big. Uh, so I'm actually gonna cut the bottoms off, right? And then when I'm looking at this, I'm like, wow, this would be really cool to put the name really big on the front. And I'm just gonna put a square at the top, uh, chalkboard paper, that they can actually write what the beer is at the very top in like a square. I think that's gonna look best. I really hope it will. So we're actually gonna laser. If I had some time to let epoxy sit, I think it'd really be cool to actually do like a V carve bit of last name, fill it in with epoxy. Um, we don't have time for that, so we're just gonna laser it on and it's still gonna look really cool. 
Uh, and then we're gonna attach the, car the cardboard paper. So I need to cut these down a bit more to be able to fit the tap screws into them, which is a lot more difficult at this stage because the wood's at an angle, but I need to cut the wood straight. So I'll just hold it down as tightly as possible, although I probably should have used the wedge to prevent this from slipping at all. And now it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna pre-drill the hole where the screw is gonna be inserted. After trying to insert the screw, I realized I needed to just use a bigger bit and then it ended up fitting perfectly. And now we attach the cap to the screw until it's flush with the wood. Since I went with the same color grain of wood for both handles, I decided to add some chalkboard paper to the top of these handles so that we can know what beer is within each tap. I bought this peel and stick paper from Amazon and I'll link it below, but this worked out great. It was easy to cut the size and it sat flush against the edges. And at this point, you can add any details to customize these handles or even leave them naturally with this wood grain. For me, I wanted to burn in the last name of my brother-in-law and this came out absolutely sweet on this wood. And now we're all done. Thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.